Jim in River Heights, welcome to Insight. You're on the air. Uh, good evening, Mr. Dewar. Yes, good um, evening, Jim. My question is, um, what would the NTP do differently regarding downtown revitalization, specifically in uh, bricks and mortar and public transportation projects? For example, when the NDP was in power, they had the opportunity to construct the Southwest tra Rapid Transit Corridor, but nothing was ever done about it. Uh, so what would uh, be your uh, response on that? Okay, Jim, thanks for your question. Well, it's a good question, and, and we didn't uh, build the Southwest uh, Transportation Corridor because of the uh, huge costs of building it. Uh, we were looking at different alternatives, and, and what we did do uh, during the years on transportation uh, was to look at uh, putting more money into the infrastructure of transportation, more money into the purchase of bus capital, uh, more money into handy transit and seniors transit, some of which has been really cut back dramatically because we thought that was the greatest short-term need. In terms of downtown uh, revitalization, we were a partner in the, uh, and I was the minister, involved in um, the plan to have the public involved and the plan that ultimately came from the public for the forks. Uh, we have been critical of casinos moving out of downtown, the, the casino moving out of downtown and going into just uh, McPhillips and Regent Avenue. Uh, we were involved in the uh, exchange district uh, revitalization. We were involved in the core area uh, project, which included uh, the whole concept of having training for people in the area as well as the bricks and mortar so that you'd have a human uh, improvement in employment plus the uh, uh, bricks and mortar. Uh, I was involved in passing legislation, the Business Improvement Zone legislation, uh, uh, which allowed uh, companies, uh, and I work with the business community on this, allowed companies to uh, uh, get together in their own region, whether it's Cordon Avenue or Osborne or, or uh, Sargent or, or uh, Exchange uh, downtown, and get together. There's controversy now going on, as I understand it, at the airport, and, and to get, get them to sort of develop their community businesses in a, in a way that allowed them a more cooperative way of going at it. Uh, the transportation challenge is a real one. We would see uh, the immediate transportation needs being very, very much uh, not necessarily all on rapid transit right now. Uh, we think we have to improve the quality of life in Winnipeg right throughout the city uh, to attract more people so that we can even begin to look at other transportation alternatives. Uh, we, we think that bicycle paths, cross-country skiing paths, uh, paths that connect, not just talk about connecting the riverway. When we did, did the Forks project along the river, uh, we wanted more access to the river, the Taché Promenade, the Forks, the uh, Kildonan, uh, the St. Norbert projects. We want to get a lot more public access to the rivers, a lot more walkways that can be used four seasons. And tr we've got to really work on the quality of life, life here. We see cities like Saskatoon, Calgary, Ottawa, Vancouver, uh, Halifax really investing in the quality of life and this kind of clo you know this kind of zero um, mentality of uh, in the last number of years in the city along with the province I think has allowed us to fall behind on quality of life so that would be our immediate priority for urban uh, uh, for the urban quote vision of the city along with some other ideas that would allow us to incorporate longer term uh, decisions uh, in the uh, in the whole capital region.